I'll draw. I'll play as Badlands. Tap it for one. Cast a Dark Ritual. Get three black mana. With one of that black mana, I'd like to cast a Soul Ring. Tap the Soul Ring for two colorless. So I got two colorless and two black. Uh, I will also cast a Rograk. One black and one colorless. I'll cast a Cabal Ritual. Gain three more black mana. So oh, now I'm up to four. Using one of it, I'll cast a Spring Leaf Drum. Tap oh, the Spring Leaf Drum to tag Rograk for green. Uh, we'll go black, colorless, and a green for Rayhan. <laughs> Rayhan will come in with four 1 1 counters. Or three, sorry. And I'll pass. Play a swamp. Tap that for a soul ring. Tap that for a sense of money top. Spin my top with the leftover mana. Keep it like that. Tap my top. Draw a card. Good spot on top. Play a lotus petal. Pass it for Marshlots, pass. Draw. My turn one is not as spectacular as all that. I'll play a Flooded Strand. I'll play a Tormod's Crypt. I'll crack my Flooded Strand to go get a Island and pass the turn. On Jason's end step, I guess, I will fetch just in case you have an Alpha. Um, and I'm going uh, to get Underground Sea. And then I'm not going to do anything. I'll play a Wired Foothills. I'll go to combat. I'll swing for three at you, Palpatina. Second main fetch. I'll just grab this Taiga and cast the dock side. Um, we will pass the turn. Draw Utawara. Blue, 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 black, two, Hidetsugu. We'll get Brainstorm, essentially. We'll put this. And this and that on top. That's my turn. Uh, your end step, I will flash in Spectral Sailor on tap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Tundra and I'll attack Jeff for one. I will take it. And I will pass. I'll draw for turn. Play a Snow Covered Island. I will tap for two and play a Sapphire Medallion, and then I'm going to pass the turn. Draw. Go to combat and swing Rayhan at you, Cody, and Dockside at you, Chase. Yep, I'll take the yep. one from Dockside. Take three. Uh, second man, I'll play a very sad Gemstone Caverns and pass the turn. Let's draw this. Swamp, two, Altar of Dementia, do a black, attempt to cast a Vampiric Tutor. I guess I'll attempt to deadly roll with your commander. I'll attempt to respond. Tap for right. a black, Undying Evil, Hidetsugu, and Kairi. Alrighty, um, let's still with deadly roll on the stack, sacrifice Hidetsugu and Kairi. Um, the death trigger, he goes. It dies, then enters the battlefield again, so Brainstorm resolves first, then the Death Trigger. We'll do this and that on top. I'll re actually, we'll do this and that on top. Death Trigger resolves, we're going to reveal Faded in Infatuation. I'm going to target Hitsuki Kairi with this. So, the creator token copy that got sacked. Act, so I resolve death trigger and then brainstorm then death. So you scry first, don't you? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we'll put both on the bottom. Brainstorm, one, two, three. We'll do this and that on top. Do this. Death trigger. Um we'll reveal abnormal endurance. Uh Coriol, you'll lose two off of that. Um target Hitsugu and Kairi. So when it dies, it returns to tap onto the battlefield of my own. Then we will sacrifice it to Kairi, do the triggers again. Uh, who are you milling, by the way? Jace, Laura targeted you, I guess. How many am I milling? How many cards am I milling? Uh, 10 so far. Oh. It would be 11, because you got a plus or plus encounter from Undying. Card off the top is a skull that gets exiled. So, Deadly Relic resolves, then Vampire of Tutor resolves. 
Uh, I'll tap for three to cast the dual caster mage. Copying the vampiric. So I guess we're both tutoring. <laughs> All right. Um, I got my card. So let's sacrifice Hitsugin Kairi to. Okay. In response to the sacrifice, I'm gonna use two treasures and I'm gonna abrupt decay your Ashmon's altar or altar of dementia. Sorry. Ooh. Uh. Yep, that happens. And target, I'll target you for the mill. Again, that might be seven because uh, Admirable Endurance Gate plus two plus zero. So seven? Yeah. And the card as uh, revealed is a Rise of the Eldrazi. Cody, I'm going to target you with the life loss off of it, so you're going to lose 12. I think we're going to destroy the dock side, and I'll target myself to draw four cards and take an extra. All right, well. Go to my next draw. Burn. Ancient Tomb? Oh, you're off by another blue source now with your Lotus Petal gun. Yeah, that's the problem. You may have bought us a turn, which is good. Well, we'll just tap for two, lose two for a our Stone. Stone, and use one, play the top. Use yeah. one, spin the top. We'll pitch a Mystic Wing Force. That hand size. Pass the turn. On set. Upkeep. Draw. Plan for turn. I think I'm just gonna cast Timno. Go to combat. Hit Palkatina for one. Yep, pick me one. <laughs> and then I'll pay a life and draw with Timno. And pass turn. Draw a card. I'll play a island. Tap for three. Cast Urza. Yep. Yep, that. Urza will come with a little buddy who is a 3-3 right at the moment. We're gonna tap like that. We'll tap the Construct and the Sapphire Medallion for a Grim Monolith. And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Untap. Uh, we'll just go to combat and swing five at you, Palkatina. Take five. I'll pass the turn after that. We got one card in hand and it's completely useless. <laughs> so we'll drop a turn. Morphic Pool. Seven. Temporal Mastery. I'll attempt to take an extra turn after this one. Chromox will imprint the reality yeah, step. Move mine turn. Walk. Blood Coliseum. Boss's Oracle. Put this one on the bottom and this one on the top. Tap my top. Draw a card. It's on top. Then two, three, four. Polymorph causes what your goal is destroyed. Triggered. Oh! That makes things easier. I'll break a horror. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Except for a blue, going to attempt to pongify the uh, rayon. Uh, Hull break a horror trigger. We're going to target my chromons. Pongify. That'll kill rayon, but I'll put three counters on Rock Rack. So, hope we got hard trigger, we're going to bounce my Chromox. Going to recast the Chromox. Hope we got hard imprint trigger, we're going to bounce Soul Ring back to my hand. I am not going to imprint anything. Tap this. Uh, because it just taps for colorless then. So no. now you use infinite colorless. Yeah. Yeah, infinite colorless. And you can bounce all So as it turns out, you can choose to imprint nothing with Chromox, however, Chromox will tap for no mana, according to the rulings. Now, if you had something like Urza on the field and the Chromox, then Urza would grant the ability to tap for blue mana, and something like that may work. But otherwise, Chromox being imprinted for nothing, taps for nothing. It cannot make colorless mana even from that, and it also can't make colorless mana even if the card you imprinted is colorless. So that was a big oof on our part, but it's okay. Watch and see what happens. You'll see that it all worked out in the end. Our whole board. No, not that. I'm just going to then uh, filter that through the Thalwar stone. Stone, so I have infinite colored mana. I can then draw my deck. But the problem is, do I have a way in my deck? Yeah. I can then cast the uh, flip side of Commit to Memory which then each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library and then draws seven more cards. Yeah. Let's attempt to cast Enter the End. 
Uh, in response, I will your starting ship. I'll cast return to action targeting Hitsugu. I'll break a horror trigger. I'm going to bounce him. In response. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, if you have a response, I don't have any response to that. Though. I'm a pyro black. Hole breaker horror? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Timna is bounced to my hand. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then first like, guardianship still counters into the infinite. Panel, yeah. like and newer. We're going to mill three cards. So we'll return hole breaker horror to my hand. Flash out hole breaker horror. We'll attempt yeah. to pass abnormal uh, endurance target. Targeting Hitsugu, but horrible hope breaker horror trigger. We're going to attempt to bounce for his guardianship. In response, I will cast Force of Negation, pitching Mystical Tutor on Enter the Infinite. Yep, you got me there. But in response to that as well, I'm going to Assassin's Trophy, Hole Breaker Horror in response to the. The Enter the Infinite is also uh, exiled instead of being put into your graveyard. Yeah. Uh, last part of my hand. Arcane uh, that. Well, uh, that was an unfortunate turn of events. I will attempt to pass the turn. <laughs> I'm going to use Bloodstained Mire to fetch Scrubland, and I'm going to cast Malcolm. And then after hitting Jace for Spectral Sailor and making a treasure, I will pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. I'll play a island. Tap for three to play Proteus Staff. I think I have to appear starting ship this, right? This is the right time. Mm. You don't have to do that. No one's making yeah. you do it. No one's got a gun to your head. Well, I have previously experienced with Full Breaker Horror and why I was in yeah. why I didn't lose the game. <laughs> and knowing your Urza deck, I will cast your starting ship on Proteus Alder. Staff. I'll respond with a, uh. I'll take a damage. I'll cast a Force of Will, exiling a Ristic Study to oh, okay. counter your Fierce Guardian, or attempt to counter your Fierce Guardianship. Tap for three colorless. I'll have a colorless floating and tap for a blue. I would like to uh, activate the Proteus Staff to put the construct on the bottom of my library and, and start revealing cards till I get another creature. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. Um, I'm going to use that colorless floating to play Aether Spellbomb. Holbrook ah. or trigger. I would like to target mana cr uh, okay, it, in, in response uh, to the Holbrook or horror trigger, mm -hmm. I will tap Command Tower, casting Mental Mist up on Aether Spellbomb. I will tap for a blue, and I will cast Machine Over Matter, targeting your Malcolm to return it to your hand, Holebreaker Horror Trigger. Holebreaker Horror Trigger, I would like to target the Twilight's Crypt. So then Aether Spellbomb gets countered. Yeah, Aether Spellbomb is still being countered. Yeah, we go Twilight's Crypt, which targets Grim Monolith. I tap for one, <laughs> two, I replay, bounce, um, tap, for, tap three. for three, and so each time I'll make, I'll net one mana off of the, uh, <laughs> Well, you also net off the Torment script, so. Yeah. yeah. So, so infinite blue. Infinite blue, blue mana, infinite colorless mana, which doesn't really matter, and then. And then Urza. Right, activate Urza. Yes, I should be able to activate Urza. I need, all I need is a Codex card. Shredder, um, cause Codex Shredder will mill you guys out. Uh, and then if I so I go for Codex Shredder, I mill you guys out, um, and then pass the turn. Pass the turn, pass. you go to draw, you lose. So that it's a simple windfall loss all, so that it's easier. I also have windfall, yeah. So I I can Codex Shredder you all out, and I can windfall us, and you'll lose when the windfall resolves, unless anybody has. That's the line, unless anybody has a response. No. Nope. 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 You'll, you'll die to windfall. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's it. Woo! Urza did a thing for once. <laughs> I had two lands in my hand. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. This episode was brought to you by our friends at Dragon Shield. We will be giving away some of our Dragon Shield sleeves 
Be sure to use our Dragon Shield affiliate link in the comments below when you make purchases from Dragon Shield. Every little bit of support helps our channel keep growing.